I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? Because of me. Yeah. Oh. Go, Nadisha. Ooh, ooh, do your thing, girl. And I'm going to put this in the video. Are you recording? Yep. That's what you get. Fuck with shawty cause she bought a business, ayy She independent and she on a mission, ayy Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashion Nisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a Dollar Tree DIY plus a few things from Joanne. And I'm going to be making a candle stand for my candles for my room. I'm going to show you, my, show you guys my room soon. You just got to, you know wait on it but yeah so this is the stuff that you're gonna need so i need some glue you can use e6000 but i'm gonna use this gorilla glue you're gonna need these glass gems from dollar tree you're gonna need two pans such as this from dollar tree you're also gonna need two candle holders from dollar tree i got my mirrors from joann's i have a 12 inch a 9 inch and a seven inch you can get whatever size you want to get it's totally up to you I'm also gonna be spray painting my pan and my candle holder gold with this spray paint I got this from Walmart so let's get straight into this video okay guys so first I started off by spray painting my pans and my candle holders you want to give these a few coats maybe two or three three is a lot Two will be fine but you want to make sure that you are evenly coating both the pans and the candle holders Once you're all done spray painting, this is what everything should look like. Okay, so I honestly suggest actual round marbles for this project, but since my Dollar Tree did not have those, I'm working with the ones that have the flat bottom. So if you also can't find the round marbles, all you want to do is glue your marbles to your pan, just one pan. Okay, because these can't naturally move around like the round ones, I'm going to add Vaseline just to give them a little slip for spinning. This is what it should look like. You don't need much Vaseline at all, just a little on each marble. Now for the assembly of the candle stand. You want to first eyeball where you're going to place your pan before you put the glue on the edges. Once you get your placement correct to where you want it, you want to place the glue around the edges of your pan. Now that you have your glue around the edges as much as you would like, you now want to place your pan on top of your mirror. Do this part carefully and be patient so that you can get your placement right. Once you have it placed where you like, you just want to give it a gentle push to secure that glue. The 
the next step is to glue our first candle holder onto the mirror and I suggest using an expo marker to mark where you want your holder to go before gluing it. This just helps to ensure that your holder is in the middle of your mirror. Here's a clip of the marks I made. Next you want to add your glue to the bottom of your candle holder and carefully place it where you made your mark. Now it's time to attach your second mirror piece and you just want to place glue on top of your candle holder. Now if you're not good at eyeballing the center, I do suggest before putting your glue on the candle holder that you mark where you want that candle holder to be. Mark the center of the mirror, but if you are good at eyeballing, you can just place your mirror at the center of the candle holder. Next, you want to repeat the steps as the first candle holder by marking your point and then gluing it down. You're also going to repeat the same steps for your last mirror piece. Once you're all done, this is what it should look like and you want to let it dry for about an hour or two. So this is how my candle stand came out. Super cute, obviously. I need more candles, so I'm gonna get more candles. But this is super cute, super simple, easy DIY you can do at home. So I actually added the two other candles I had, just so you can get the full look. Super cute.